Hello everyone. Uh, I'm super excited about the opportunity to present here at the Kotlin Night. Uh, first, congratulations to Andre, uh, the founder of Kotlin and uh, the many other engineers that are creating the wonderful Kotlin language and uh, ecosystem. Uh, and I really mean it. Uh, I don't do much coding nowadays, uh, uh, but when we started to explore Kotlin, uh, I needed to get a feel for the language. Uh, uh, so I did the Kotlin koans, uh, got the Kotlin in action book, and rewrote quite a bit of my Java code into Kotlin. And it was very clear to me that Kotlin hit a sweet spot uh, and has all the ingredients to be successful in one of the most challenging fields of engineering. And that's, that's quite, a, quite an achievement. So the announcement went out earlier today uh, that Gradle embraces Kotlin as a built language. Uh, and I want to talk about that. So, uh, how did it start? Um, well, first, we were impressed uh, with the Kotlin language and with the uptake, uh, even before reaching 1.0. One, one in, in the Android community, but also beyond the Android community. And, uh, well, <clears throat> and then there was uh, another issue. Uh, there are areas of pain that the Gradle community has that we need to address. Uh, so one is, Gradle needs more sophisticated tooling when it comes to writing build logic. Uh, we want code navigation from script to plugins to the Gradle core, content assist, debugging help, refactoring, quick fixes, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, related to that is uh, scaling build logic. So what, what do we mean by that? The Gradle builds that are out there, they, they are, they are massive, right? Talk with the Netflix, guy, Netflix guys who are here tonight. Uh, they have 5,000 Gradle build files, tremendous number of Gradle plugins, complex workflows. The build requires more and more serious engineering, excellent engineering. Uh, the domain is often at least as complex as the business domain. And uh, making build logic scale has many aspects, but the build language is an important one detect configurations error, configuration errors at compile time, make it easier to connect all the different pieces of your build logic. And uh, tooling support and scaling are closely related to static typing, right? And uh, we could have achieved that with Java, <laughs> but the downside would be tremendous, right? In terms of heavy weightedness of uh, uh, Cradle and the ease of use. So this is why we never started that way. And uh, here we go, right? This is where the virtues and the innovation of Kotlin comes into the game. Uh, there is no major downside uh, for us moving to this statically typed language. Uh, you can create wonderful DSLs, it's scripting uh, and spec friendly, it has first class functions, extension methods, everything you want from a modern language. So this all looked very, very promising. Uh, and then Cradle and JetBrains uh, got their heads together, <laughs> and uh, here we go. You will now see the first demo of the Greater Kotlin support, Milestone 1. Okay, so, oh. <laughs> wait until you see it. <laughs> so uh, what you can hear, see here is a simple Java application, right? So uh, uh, it has, uh, uh, it has a class with a main method uh, uh, that prints out uh, uh, some very unusual uh, uh, statement. And, uh, <clears throat> and now we want to build this Java application with Gradle, actually with Gradle Kotlin. So this is uh, uh, an uh, uh, almost empty Gradle Kotlin based build script. And uh, how do you again use a plugin in Gradle? Well, something with A, I think. So you type A. And here we go, can apply. And then what is the exact name of the application plugin? Well, uh, application plugin. And uh, how do I configure the application plugin? Well, quick documentation lookup, right? And then I can see, okay, I need to configure the application plugin convention object. So uh, let's use the configure method, right? Uh, configure the application plugin convention object and uh, Let's see, we need to define the class name of the main class. So uh, let's quickly look at the package name for the Hello World class. And uh, 
We also need to give a name to the application. And uh, the, so the funny thing is, if you're, if you're looking at production code, you say, of course I can do that, right? But hey, writing your build, this is new, right? Tell me a build system, right, where you have that level of uh, IDE support. So uh, it's something you're used to from other, you know, from writing your production code in the build domain that is not, that is, that is new. And we are super excited about that. And it has been a big pain point for our community. Who of you is using Gradle in this room? So you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> so, uh, okay. So, and you can immediately move into the Gradle source code, right? Look at the code of the application plugin convention and uh, uh, class and or the application plugin class, right? It's a completely different experience. So let's define uh, 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 some dependencies. We need, to, we need to be able to compile and run the tests. So at a repository, uh, Maven Central, and some dependencies. Now it gets interesting. Some pretty nifty uh, syntax to have a concise description to assign a dependency to a, 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 to a configuration. And even here the content, the, the, the documentation lookup works, right? Adds a dependency to the given configuration. And uh, let's add JUnit 4.12. And that's our little Gradle build. So this is milestone one. We, we, we are exploring ways to, uh, to, to also have content assist for the no more dynamic aspects of Gradle, like the configurations or when you're doing Android, uh, the flavors and the build type. So, uh, but at least uh, it's at least as convenient as it is now, and it's getting with Groovy, and it's getting even better. So uh, okay, let's see if that actually, uh, if you can actually execute a Gradle build based on that build script. So uh, let's run the tests, and uh, here we go. Right, you can tell Gradle with Kotlin what to do. <laughs> And you can run the application. You can, uh, yeah, in the world, you can uh, uh, seamlessly go into your code, now in your production code, and uh, uh, change the text you want to print. Run it again. So let's do uh, uh, one more thing. <laughs> Let's actually install the, uh, uh, the Java application for this uh, uh, Hello World application, right? So we, we, uh, it's a locally, it's, a, it's an exploded distribution archive, right? Kotlin demo with the jar and with the, uh, uh, with the start scripts. And uh, yeah, the last thing we do is to, uh, in the demo, is to execute this via the start scripts. And here we go. So, uh, first of all, I want to get I want to give credit to the amazing engineers that made that possible. Right? Uh, uh, I don't think any of those are here tonight. They're in Vienna, Brazil, St. Petersburg. So, but any, in any case, they did an amazing job. <laughs> so, uh, you can do this demo yourself, right? Uh, uh, Go to the Gradle script Kotlin repo at GitHub and you will find uh, all the setup instructions on how to do this. Uh, you can, uh, uh, this has just been published. Uh, uh, it's a blog post where we talk in more detail about uh, 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 the Gradle Kotlin story. I think the JetBrains folks are, they, they're, they're about to publish a, a, a similar blog post from, from their perspective. Uh, and uh, I want to answer a couple of common questions. So, uh, will existing plugins work with Kotlin Gradle builds? Yes. What about Eclipse? Will be supported uh, once we integrate the Eclipse Kotlin support into the Eclipse Gradle support. Uh, and will the usage of Groovy become deprecated? No. Right, you still, that, that is still uh, uh, a fully supported way uh, to write your Gradle builds. Um, so, what is the roadmap for the Kotlin support? Uh, we're just at the beginning. Uh, but we're moving very fast. So uh, 
Cradle 3.0 Milestone 1, our next release, will have experimental Kotlin support built in, right? At the moment, you need to use a custom distribution, but that will be built in in Cradle 3.0. Uh, and that will be next month, right, uh, uh, at, at the Cradle Summit, at the latest, uh, next month. And it will have Cradle Kotlin support 1.0-M1. Right now, the Gradle Kotlin support is a separate project so that you can update independently of the Gradle release lifecycle and at one point it will move into the core. Uh, when, it, when it's fully production ready, we expect that uh, later this year. So we, we, are, we are moving very fast. We're investing a lot into this. Uh, a detailed roadmap will be published uh, over the next weeks. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, uh, the people that don't know Gradle so well uh, about the Cradle momentum and, and uh, a little bit of background. So we had 10.4 million downloads in 2015. Uh, in April, we almost had 2 million downloads just in one month. And uh, the download numbers have a special relationship with Kotlin. Uh, they are calculated by my code that I migrated to Kotlin, <laughs> uh, which analyzes our S3 log files. So uh, the download numbers do not even include the Android Studio downloads, which bundles Cradle. Uh, so, uh, 800 plus community plugins growing very fast with support for any language and platform you can imagine. Uh, support for Java, Android, C, C++, Python, Hadoop, and of course, Kotlin. Uh, so Gradle is a generic automation platform to model all aspects of continuous delivery. That is our, that is, our, that is, uh, uh, we're moving more and more in this direction, filling the, the empty spaces. Uh, and uh, you can learn more about, oh, I want to add one more thing. So. We are on an exciting journey, and we are super thrilled uh, about what Kotlin can provide to the Gradle community. Uh, at the same time, I think Gradle can be a tremendous multiplier for Kotlin adoption, so uh, it is just awesome. If ever there has been uh, uh, an example for a win-win, then this is a good example. Uh, if you want to learn more about Gradle, uh, come to the upcoming Gradle Summit. Uh, we have an amazing setup of Excellent speakers from Google, Netflix, LinkedIn, JetBrains, Gradle Inc., Uber, Elasticsearch, and many more. Uh, we talk about Gradle 3.0, new Gradle multi-repo support, the Gradle distributed cache that is in the making, continuous delivery for iOS and Android, and of course, uh, Gradle Kotlin support. That's it. Thank you.